And I'm Chris. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to catch us on Instagram at Independence is a Vibe because you know that it is. Yes, sir. And so the topic we got for y'all today is mental health and disabilities, navigating the challenges. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a long title, but it's a lot of a lot of stuff to unpack in that one, I think. Yeah. So, we'll just start it off like this. Being disabled, you know, it, it could affect you mentally, wouldn't you say, Travis? Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff starts in your mind. We said that multiple times in different videos on this podcast. Yeah. You know, that, that a lot of stuff starts in your mind. And that ultimately can affect your, your demeanor, you know what I'm saying, your mood, mm -hmm. you know, the way you... See yourself. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and that's important because you always want to see, at least see yourself as something great. Mm-hmm. It really don't matter how you see other people or situations, but yeah. just just see yourself at least as something great. Right. Because ultimately, that'll translate to how you see other people. Mm hmm You know, but yeah, man. I also believe that being disabled, you do you do face a lot of a lot of mental challenges. Mm -hmm. You do. You know. Um, I think that that can bring on a lot of self doubt. Yeah. In a lot of situations, you know. Um, I mean, you think it's because, you know, there might be things you may not be able to do compared to somebody else? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> you know, most definitely. We did a video on comparison kills, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So that's, yeah, you know, I would say if we were, if we were doing a how-to or making a list of tips and stuff like that, which we didn't start out to do, but yeah. number one, don't compare yourself to somebody else. Right. Just just be you. Right. Find, find your lane in life and flow right there. Yeah. You know, navigating challenges. Don't don't compare yourself to somebody else. You think it's hard though when you looking like you know these days when you got social media you know everybody. Yeah, I I believe it can be. Yeah. Just like we touched on in the previous videos about using social media to find your inspiration. I mm -hmm. also think that social media can. Kill. Lead to anxiety, yeah. depression, because you look at at other people taking exotic vacations. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying you're looking at other people driving nice vehicles or, or whatever they doing, and you're mm -hmm. like, well, I ain't, I ain't there yet. Yeah. I don't have that stuff. Yeah. I don't have access to that. What they have and stuff yeah. like that. But again, it's all in your mind. You could either think about it like something negative, or you could look at this guy does have a nice car. One day that's gonna be me. Mm -hmm. They are taking an exotic vacation. One day that's going to be me. Yeah. Maybe even reach out to them. Hey, where is this place at? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um. What do y'all do for a living to get to a place like this? Yeah. They might answer your question back. You know what I'm saying? True. So, yeah. I mean, it's all about how you look at it. Hence the navigating life challenges. Yeah. But, I mean, as far as like a disability, though, you mm -hmm. know, you know, I feel like it can be hard because, you know, society's perception on you can be kind of harsh at times, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot of negativity that was, it wasn't necessarily aimed at me, mm -hmm. but it was kind of aimed at people as disabled in general, you know? Mm -hmm. I heard people say things like, disabled people are always looking for a handout. And that, I, you know, I, I was offended. Yeah. You know, because... For one, I'm not a person that asks for handouts. Don't give me something, teach me something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 give me money. Teach me how you know, how did you get your money? Show me that. Mm-hmm. You know? Um I I've heard that disabled people use their disabilities to get other people to do their work. Oh, I can't do this, could you do this for me? Nah. That's not even one of us <laughs> nah. at all. Travis cook, clean, and drive for himself. I pull my own weight. Yeah, you know, I'm I I cook. My wife is a, a better cook, but I clean. You know what I'm saying? I don't drive yet, but this you know this is my house. I cook and clean here too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She don't do everything for me. <laughs> We're a team. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I I I've heard some really just stupid stuff. You know that just don't make no sense. I think ways to I guess debunk those stereotypes is to prove them wrong, you know? Yeah. You know, show them 
okay, you thought I couldn't do this? Okay, I can. You know? Right. Or, you know, you thought people were looking for a handout, but, hey, I work, you know? Right. <laughs> you know, and I think, I think to, to me, and this is just my personal opinion, the greatest influencers to me are the ones that's disabled. As far as looking at social media and seeing somebody that just take your breath away, the disabled community does that effortlessly because we can show life is already a struggle because I'm in a condition. Mm -hmm. But look at what I'm doing in this condition. You see what I'm saying? The underdogs, man. Right. So, I mean... I got a disadvantage, but hey, I'm, I'm making it work. Right. I flipped that to an advantage. Yeah. You got a lot of social media, like, disabled influencers with, with large followings, and they didn't buy followers. Mm-hmm. These are regular people that's looking at their life like, wow, you're an amazing person. Yeah. You know? You got some disabled motivational speakers, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they speaking in front of large audiences. That ain't happen overnight. Right. It's, it's the steady grind of, you know, them showing the world that, hey, look, I'm here. Man. And I ain't just here to exist. I'm here to... <laughs> To do something amazing, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Watch a, the show. Make an impact, you know? Right. Inspire some people. Right. You know, now I do know, like, you know, navigating life challenges, sometimes it's hard. You know what I'm saying? It is hard because there may be physical obstacles that may stop you from doing what, what it is you want to do. But that's the beauty of it, though. Right. It's trying to find ways to get around that obstacle. Right. That's when your creativity kick in. Right. They thought they, thought they had you. You're like, okay, all right, I see. You know. Then you come back and like, what now? <laughs> <laughs> right. Because creativity is, you know, you got to look at it like a muscle. Yeah. You know. Life going to force you to use it. You know, but you got to. Like be life. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It be life for real. <laughs> you know, so, you know, creativity is, is it's a muscle, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And sometimes situations will make you flex your creativity muscle. But you're supposed to do that. Yeah. You know? Um, I remember when I was a boy, somebody told me, they was like, um, I can't remember exactly what happened. I think I was at school, and I was supposed to walk somewhere or do something. Mm-hmm. And I, I, the person heard me say, one of, the, one of the teachers or whatever, they heard me say, man, I can't. Right? And the teacher came to me. She was like, Chris, I don't ever want to hear you say I can't again. Because can't means I want to do something, but something is stopping me. Yeah. And she was like, the something that's stopping you is you. So don't stop yourself. And I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah, sometimes <laughs> you, know? you got to get out your own way. Right. You know, that's why I say everything starts in your mind. If you tell yourself in your mind, I can't, you already then, then destroyed your own dream. Yeah. You know, now I do understand, like, you know, sometimes if it's, you know, doing something physical that you just really, you know, it's, it's like somebody asking me to dunk a ball. <laughs> okay, I... I can't I can't do that, you know, obviously. But something that's within my grasp of doing, I just gotta adjust some stuff. Mm-hmm. Don't say I can't. Yeah. You know. Which to me brings me to the next point is besides not comparing yourself to somebody else, don't never count yourself out. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, never that. Right. Because we all got gifts and talents. Right. God gave us all something to do. So, I mean, it could be done. Whatever you're trying to do, it could be done. But you just might have to pivot a little bit. That's the word, man. Pivot. You might have to network. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. You you may have to get some help, but but it can be done. You know what I'm saying? There there are disabled people that run their own business. And True. for a lot of people, the internet makes that possible. Yeah. You know, YouTube makes that possible. Yeah. Um, social media makes that possible. That's not to say that, you know, there are disabled people who have, like, physical building, physical buildings that they run businesses out of, it too. You know, so, nothing can stop you. I feel like people with a disability are the most creative people yeah. out there. I feel like you know, that, too. You know, because, you know, you got to figure out ways every day of how to do things, you know. Sometimes you may feel like a... An alien, <laughs> you know, <laughs> out here. you know, like you don't belong, but mm-hmm. you gotta figure out ways to navigate. You know. Uh, Another thing I would say is, you know, we talking about mental health. 
sometimes you don't realize that you're having a challenge mm -hmm. and it's all mental, you know. And that's that's something that I learned through the years with all the prayers that I prayed and just, you know, just my relationship with God and talking to different people in my life. I learned that sometimes you be, you know, you'll be going through something but not realize that this is some, something in my head, mm -hmm. you know. Anxiety, depression, all of that stuff, you might not realize it. You might not recognize it. Yeah. I would say pay attention to the things that you think about. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, because you, cause when you're by yourself, it's just you and God. You got you got to face reality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The stuff I think about, is it negative or positive? Second question is, the stuff I think about, is it something negative toward myself or something negative toward somebody else? Most times when we are on our own here, there's negative stuff toward ourselves. Yeah. You know. And if you if you have negative thoughts towards yourself, it's gonna affect you. No matter how many times people say, Well, you know, I think stuff about myself all the time and it don't bother me because nobody knows it's just me, is it? It'll bother you. Yeah. You know. So don't you know, don't think negative about yourself. And, you know. Uh, you, I mean <clears throat> to piggyback off that you gotta also have like a good support system as well. Yeah. You gotta have people that you can trust, that you can talk to when you're feeling, you know, a certain type of way. Yeah. You know, they can speak life into you. Exactly. You know, you gotta have that. Right. Because, you know, God made us to be social beings. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We 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 made to socialize. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> as much as it pains me to say what I'm finna say, you uh -oh. gonna you gonna need somebody to help you get through life. You can't do it all by yourself. I know, nobody did by themselves. And I and I said it pained me to say this because that's that's me all day. I want to do everything by myself, and that that's just not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't I don't like the weight of responsibility. If if it's me and you supposed to do this together, if I don't do my part, then everything fall apart because of me. And I'm like I, I don't I don't like that feeling. Yeah. But the way life's set up, you got to you got to have some help. Yeah. You do. I mean. If if Jesus had help, he had disciples, then who makes you think you can do it by yourself? The mindset. <laughs> <laughs> the, just that mindset. I'm going to yeah. do it by myself. But, you know, and like I, my favorite saying is, the why is important. Mm -hmm. That one question. You know, why do you want to do it by yourself? You got all this help. You got family. You got your wife. You got your kids. You got your friend. You got, you got all of this help. Why you want to do it by yourself? Right. Bottom line, I don't want to let nobody down. See what I'm saying? But at the same time, that can be seen as a negative thought pattern mm -hmm. because that'll cause fear and you ain't supposed to live your life in fear. Yeah, when that fear sink in, man, you gotta... You gotta get that out of there. You gotta change that mindset. Yeah. You know, you yeah. gotta... A lot of times when you have fear about something, you gotta sit back and look at... Uh, I, I, I like to say, uh, look at God's resume of your life. Mm-hmm. You know? That's a good way to put it. You know, look at what you were before and what you overcame and it's like he never failed you right so that's how you gotta look at it when that fear is sinking I like that that yeah. is nice <laughs> yeah I'm gonna take that home with you <laughs> everybody take put that in your pocket <laughs> you know but yeah most definitely you, you got to reflect you know because if you don't you will kind of get I don't want to say swamped, you know, but that's the only word that's coming to mind right now. Mm -hmm. You'll get swamped in whatever the problem is. Yeah. And sometimes the only way to solve a problem is to step back out of it so mm -hmm. you can look at it from a distance. Yeah. You know, and I, I had to do that in my own life because I woke up sometime and had days where I woke up fine and then throughout the course of the day, just, my, you know, just felt like I had a load on me, got heavy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like that when the enemy come in, huh? Yeah, and I'm like, how did I, you know, that's how I started changing because yeah. I prayed and prayed on him. I'm like, Lord, I'm praying, but ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing changing. Like, I'm still going through these days where I'm down and I don't really have nothing to be down about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I know life's going to bring its own problems, but I ain't supposed to be feeling like this every day. <laughs> and God helped me realize, he was like, when you feel like that, you got to recognize that, you know, what is it that I'm thinking about that have me feeling like this? Mm -hmm. You know, the second thing is, just step back from everything, you know? And when I started stepping back, like whenever I would have a day where I'm down or something, mm -hmm. I would literally sit down, stop whatever I'm doing, and be like, all right, 
what's going on. I had to self check, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes you gotta check yourself. Yeah, and I started thinking like, okay, what am I thinking about that's got me? And then once I figure out, yeah, man, I don't need to be thinking about that. Yeah. You know, my life is, <laughs> my life is good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's good. And then I started focusing on something positive. Think about, you know, stuff I like to think about. Yeah. And once I did that, boom, I snapped back. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's I had to learn because. It's not like you're going to go through something bad one time in your life and then you, you know, you're good. No, mm-hmm. sometimes stuff going to come out the blue and it's going to happen repeatedly sometimes. Yeah, that's life, man. Huh? But you got to learn how to rubber, rubber band. <laughs> got to know how to pivot, huh? Right. Bounce back. Right. So, you know, but life is a journey, man. It's, it's a learning process. It's all about gratitude as well, man. Yeah. Be thankful because it could be worse. Right. You know, I say grab onto the positive. Because there's always going to be some negative floating around, too. Yeah. But but it's always going to be positive things floating around, too. You just got to look through it. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's kind of hard sometimes because it seems like we got so much more negativity than we have positivity. You know, but you don't have to, you don't have to let anything stop you. Oh. Everything starts in your mind. You know, life going life gonna to bring enough problems your way. Don't let your mind take you to stuff that you just... You don't have to deal with. Right. Cross that bridge when you get there. If you get there. Yeah. That's what I mean to say. Not when you get there, but if you get there. Right. You know. Sometimes the negativity coming off from us. You know, it's not life. We doing it to ourselves. Yeah, you in your own way. Get out the way. Right. You know, because your life meant to be lived. It's meant to be good, you know. Yeah. It's going to have ups and downs. like a roller coaster, but I mean, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You still stay the course. Right. You know, I think also too, man. If and it's just a tip that I kind of learned, just just in my walk with God, and I also learned it going from working to like, you know, being just receiving disability. If if you're a person who is in the house a lot and you're disabled, don't watch TV all day. Find find you a hobby. Find you a hobby. Find you a way to kind of. Get out the house and get some sunlight, cause it'll it'll help. <laughs> it'll help for real, you know. Um, now that's that's not all people, but for the for the people that know what I'm talking about, that's for y'all. Yeah. You know, it's not everybody, but some people go through it. You know, just find you a hobby, a couple of hobbies if you <laughs> if you got to. Yeah. You know, um, find your purpose. Yeah, yeah. Cause we could all learn something new mm-hmm. every day. You know. Um. Another thing is, man, I would say, like, look up some places to visit, you know what I'm saying? And make a plan and visit them places. Mm-hmm. Even if it's, like, local spots. Yeah. They got some local spots you might have never been to. Go there. Yeah. Check them out. You know? A new, a new experience makes you, makes you feel a lot better mentally. Yeah, it does. When you're stuck in the same rut every day, that's when you start to have that that mental weight. On your mind. Sometimes it's good to, <clears throat> like you said, look up things to go to. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's good to like sit there and just imagine yourself there. Yeah. You know, and just speak. Okay, one day mm-hmm. I'm gonna be there. Yep. You know. I do. I do that with my body. Yeah. My finances. You know what I'm saying? Like my health. I, I do it with everything. Yeah. You got to have a vision. You got to. You know, if you have a vision, that'll help you have a plan. Mm-hmm. And if you got a plan, then you can write that down. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You got to feel like you unstoppable. I know I feel like I'm, a, I'm unstoppable. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. There is no ceiling. No no limitations. I'm built for it. Right. <laughs> and see, something we always say, man. Technology makes a lot of things possible. Yeah. You know, before, like before social media, you ain't really have access to, like, big name celebrities and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But now, thanks to social media, you can reach out to whoever, whoever it is that you're trying to learn something from. Yeah. And you can shoot them a message on Instagram. That's my favorite platform. Yeah. You know, you can shoot them a message on Instagram and they might respond back to you. Mm-hmm. You know, I've had it happen with some some people that I thought, you know, they was big time or whatever. So, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll answer you back. Now, sometimes they won't, but if they don't, you just move on to the next person. Somebody going to answer you. That's that networking, man. Exactly. 
I always say that somebody somewhere knows somebody that knows somebody. Right, you know. <laughs> and from that point, I mean, once you get the little bit of information you was looking for, you just move from that. You know, it's, it's always a way. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, mental health, navigating these challenges, just, you know, number one, don't get in your own way. You know what I'm saying? Number two, find you some inspiration. Oh, yeah. You know, build you a team, even if it's small. <laughs> it don't matter as long I, as you got one or two people. I don't, I don't, to me, I don't like rocking with big circles because when your circle get too wide, it's like people get to tripping with you. Uh, yeah. But, you know, find you a, build your network, you know, your support team, your crew, <laughs> you know, and be unstoppable. Right. Navigate them challenges. You know, right. have that confidence to say, like, I am. Right, because you are. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I know, um, you know, you you may you may say, Well, I'm not the greatest and I'm not the best, man. Stop that. It don't matter. That's your goal is to become the best. Right. To be the greatest. Right. You know. I, I, I like the freestyle and I used to tell myself like, man, I'm, one day I'm gonna be like one of the best freestyle artists the world ever seen. Of course, I was younger when I was saying that. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, and I'm 39 now, and I'm like, man, I don't, I don't know. But then I think about it, like, it's something I enjoy doing. So why not say, you know? Mm-hmm. One day, I'm going I'm to beat her. Yeah. You know? And that's it. You know, you just don't give up. That's right. Don't ever give up. Because the minute you give up, your dreams die. Don't let your dream die. That's right. And I always say, they gonna hear about me. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it about. I'm gonna leave it at that. They gonna hear about me. I like that. No questions asked. Hmm. That'd be a nice uh, name for like an album. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to. They gonna, gonna hear have, about me. I'm gonna have to borrow that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to borrow that one. Yeah. But uh. Any more nuggets you want to drop? Any more gems? Uh, no, I think I'm all emptied out now. Yeah, I'm going to just like, keep the faith. That's all. That's you know? it. That's a good one, too. That's it. Like, y'all always keep God first, man. Yeah, keep the faith. and That's your foundation. Everything else going to fall into place. Yes, sir. And uh, stay tuned. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to catch us on Instagram at Independence is a Vibe. Because you know that it is. Yes, sir. And we'll be back with another video. Stay tuned. And we out. Peace.